where we're having an enlightening discussion with scientist and best-selling author Greg Braden of the USA. When he first began studying human origins, Mr. Braden wondered whether humankind was just a genetic coincidence or was intentionally engineered. Let's now find out how his research took shape. I don't know who or what or how, but the evidence is overwhelming that there is an intentionality and a design that underlies our existence. So as a scientist, my thinking was, if that's true, who or whatever put us here on earth would have left something inside of every one of us that tells us we're part of a greater existence and tells us that we're a family and that we're not so different from one another. And if I could find that, if I could find that common denominator that somehow maybe it would help us to become greater than the differences, that began the search. And I combined the science that I know of biology and history and ancient language, linguistics, uh, genetics, uh, with the new science of computers that were now on my desktop. And Darrell, I'll tell you, I, I remember the very first time as a scientist that I had the opportunity to see the human genome, a piece of human DNA coded on my computer screen. And all the CTAG, CTAG, it all rolled down through the screen. And, I, and my, my brain looked at that and I remember thinking, I said, I don't know what that says, but there's a code. There's a language. That DNA is a language. And whatever that language is, it's inside of me, and it's inside of everyone that looks at it. And, and some intelligent being placed it there a long time ago. Using all the technology at his disposal, Mr. Braden then began searching for the message encoded in our DNA. And this led to a, a research project using computers, the best science of today, and some of those ancient texts. And the bottom line is that what we discovered is every single ancient language, the letters of the language link to very precise numbers that have never changed. Mm -hmm. So whether we're talking um, about the Arabic language or the Hebrew language, uh, or if we're talking about cuneiform and Sanskrit, uh, what are called the ancient core or the ancient root languages. There's a mysterious number that's always been linked to those letters, and nobody knows where the numbers came from. That was interesting to me. So through a process uh, that took many years, I came to understand that the numbers that represent the letter are also the numbers that represent the elements, what we call the elements on the periodic table yeah. of life and, and uh, a physical reality as we know it. So in other words, it is if the ancients, they didn't know about the periodic table of elements the way we do today, but they knew about the numbers that were represented. And when we make the connections between the letters of the ancient alphabets, the numbers they represent, those numbers, if we look at them on the periodic table, they happen to be precisely the elements that make the DNA in our bodies. Now, we have the ability to take the sequences of DNA in a cell and through those numbers link them to the letters in ancient alphabets. And lo and behold, the letters spell words and the words have meaning. Mm -hmm. And this has led to a book that's entitled The God Code. It was released in, in the year 2004. Uh, what we know is that there is a message, an intentional message, within uh, the DNA of all life. The message is, uh, occurs in layers, and each layer has its own code that must be understood for that layer. And I'm still working on the deeper layers. Greg Braden says the message hidden in the DNA of all living beings is that which spiritual masters have tried to convey to humanity through the ages. He now reveals what's written in the topmost layer of our genetic code. The top layer is one that we understand very well right now. The top layer in the DNA of all life literally, literally translates into the words God eternal within the body. God eternal within the body. 
We don't know who put that message there. We don't know exactly why it's there. But I can tell you that all I did was I followed the instructions in, uh, in a series of ancient texts following those languages, and I married that with the science of today, and, and this is what we found. If a, a higher intelligence is responsible for our existence, <clears throat> and that intelligence created us, it makes perfect sense that that intelligence would have left something for us to understand who we are. Mm -hmm. And if they left it in a temple or a text that could be destroyed and disappear over time, it wouldn't make sense. It makes perfect sense that that higher intelligence would have left the message encoded into the creation itself. And as long as the creation exists, the message is intact.